Christmas comes, Freya. <laughs> Today we are we are watching the haiku. Haiku. The Home Alone extended cinematic universe. And just that. You might think that includes the first two movies. It does not, because it is the extended cinematic universe. Only the universe. extended. Three, four, and five. We came up with this idea a year ago. Yes, when we started this. And in the amount of time that it took us to get around to doing it, another Home Alone movie came out. <laughs> Home Alone 6. I'm the expert on these films. I've seen at least two of them, and Jesse has seen none of them. I've seen number three at least a few times. I've seen number four, I think, once, unless I had a dream that there was another Home Alone film that I saw. I'll be I'll be your guide on this tour. <laughs> <laughs> like... Virgil guiding Dante yes. through all the levels of hell. Trey yes. will be guiding us through all the levels of the haiku. Home Alone 3, Jesse. Look, it's the same little house in font. And yeah. They just added to three. Missiles. Jesse. Jesse. Of the two countries that could be an enemy, which country is going to be the enemy in this? Give it, give me a wild guess right now. China. Nope. What? Huh? It's Russia. Russia's a wait. Russia's a villain in this movie. It's not like a burglar. Did I get? Am I getting tricked? No. Look. Is this home, look. Is this really Home Alone? Yes. Look, they put the chip in the RC car so, no. they, so they can get it across customs. Whoa! Oh, look, he's... old lady. Got wrong bag. Oh no! Oh no! What do? Cause oh no! You know they could have just put that board in <laughs> oh, their no. in their purse and like yeah. yeah, it's a circuit board. It's a circuit board. I I do 9/11 electronics. Nine eleven hadn't happened yet. They could have just walked through with a gun. Oh, oh it's just the Supreme T-shirts. Oh no! <laughs> they got the wrong bag. I took this Aussie car, Aussie car. and I put. The terrorist microchip inside. But hang on, let me finish my line of thought here. They went from the sticky bandit, the wet bandits, to the, the sticky, sticky bandits, to Donald Trump, to Russia. Is he just gonna kill them with a machine gun? Like, what's the what are the pranks that they're gonna pull on these Russian spies? Look at how big this house is. That's, it's bigger than the first one. Is it? I think the, so. No, the first house was a straight up mansion. I mean, this is also a straight-up mansion. It was like a $5 million house. Most of them are Tudor. They're Tudor houses, Trey. Explain. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Dude, what's That's that why he's scratching himself. Oh, cause he's like, got, what's wrong with his butt? Because he's got chicken pox on his butt hole. Yeah. Uh-oh, who's going to be in this Who room? Is it? What future person is this? Oh. You want to talk about how what uh, Roger Ebert gave this movie? So imagine it's 1997. You finished watching Home Alone 3. You've seen Home Alone 1 and 2. Right. You're a movie critic. You already have given Home Alone 1 and 2 negative reviews. <laughs> what are you going to give this? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Ebert said Home Alone 1 and 2 suck, but this Home Alone is amazing. This is the only one he liked and the only one he gave a positive review. Yes. Yo, this kid is strapped. This guy, I, I was joking when he said he was going <laughs> to shoot them in the face, but now I think he's going to. He's, oh, he's strapped like, to the teeth. Oh! Uh, <laughs> yes. This is actually really good. Dang it, dude. Roger Ebert was right. Robert, no, no, Roger Ebert. Oh, he's got an attic just like Kevin. Of course, it's a Tudor home, Jesse. Does he have a basement? Cops don't come that Oh, wait, never mind. They're rich white people. Yeah. Ah, came, commentary. Came faster than that's the real commentary on this channel, guys. <laughs> the only commentary happening on this channel is social commentary. Dude, he swat. <laughs> <laughs> he did the Spider-Man gag. Oh, or did gosh. Spider-Man do the Russian terrorist that's gag? That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yo, kick it in reverse really fast. Throw the rug yeah. down the stairs and use that as a ramp. Bet you won't, dumbass kid. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up, dude. Rachel. I got you, you got a mic. mic. <laughs> sit in the middle. No, you this just. This is where the people sit middle. on the couch. This is the guest. This is the guest spot. 
Those are the, some the of the Russian spies. spies. The goons? The goons. The Russian yeah, spies. The goons. There are four robbers, four people in this movie that are all trying to break into his house. They're not at all related to the other kid that was left nope, They just it, happen to both live in Chicago. Yeah. I mean, I will say they mixed up the formula a little bit. It's not like his parents forgot him at home. He just has chicken pox and they have to go to work. Yeah. Can you scoot over? I didn't want to touch Trey. Scoot over. I mean, I'll scoot over. Is it the hat or is it an animal? It's an animal. I want it to be an animal. Nope, it's a butt rip. Gotcha. <laughs> Double whammo. Oh my gosh. I wanted it to be a raccoon. Hey. Squeezable jelly? Yeah. They were rich. So Look at that. They live in a Tudor house. <laughs> yeah, Rachel, they live in a Tudor a house. A Tudor house. Oh, that bread box she has? My mom has one, but it has a red lid, not a yellow lid. Does she keep her bread in it? Rachel, it's a bread box. Sheldon on the Big Bang Theory says that you shouldn't put your bread in the fridge because it oxygenates faster and it gets stale quicker. And it, Sheldon said it, and his word is gospel. Then he made a Star Trek reference, and the audience lost their minds. Bazinga. <laughs> dude, stop. You can't just throw a bazinga <laughs> out there like that, dude. You're going to make me lose it. Surprise. <gasps> bazinga. <laughs> bazinga, you you're blind. Eyes, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, That's on him. Nice. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <gasps> this is the first movie that they've had guns. It's the shit pipe. Because that's how pipes work. Your what? shit just stays it in just the pipe. It stays in it. Why is he suggesting things to his mom? And Look, his mom's he, like, okay. He grabbed the wrong pistol. Uh, that was. Did he do that on purpose? No. They start blasting. Why is it so funny to you if he dies? Wouldn't it be funny if he dies? Because, dies? wouldn't it? Because like, it's hilarious, We do this Rachel. whole movie, and then they just shoot him with a gun. Harry and Marv couldn't get anything done in the first two movies. It's because they didn't have guns. And, exactly. And then the Russian spies come along, and they just shoot him. He's got a dumb waiter in his house? Yeah, the other one did. God. Kevin did. Yeah. It's, it's a Tudor house. Laundry. Rich families and their dumb waiters. Ain't we mad? They're dumb, dumb waiters. He's going to put a bunch of C4. He finds a real <gasps> gun. <laughs> Dude, he's strapped! Oh I told you! No, it does not way. Aw, dang it. Aw, oh, it's too cold for her. Miss Hess! Miss Hess! <laughs> Miss Hess, damn it! Wake Look up, Miss Hess! What? That's not your gun. Ha! <laughs> oh! oh my gosh! Mom, I. Mom, I I killed some terrorists. Mom, are you proud <laughs> of me, Mom? Mom, I did it. <laughs> I did it, Mom. And she's like sitting there thinking like, how are we going to pay for therapy? My son's a psycho. I'm going to have to homeschool him or send him to some special school. <laughs> like engineering he... college. Mom, they're hugging and kissing me in front of cops. <laughs> that was the only one written by the original writer of the first two Home Alone movies, John Hughes. So now we're getting into the straight to TV bullshit. Yep. Yep. Now we're getting, and this one was theatrical release. The other ones are straight yes. to TV. Now we're going to get into the hard, so I watched number four. hard bullshit. I watched number four, I'm pretty sure, because back when I still lived with my parents, as it were, I was the one that always had to like decorate the tree and wrap presents and all that other shit because I'm not good at anything Ooh, else. I'm yeah. And I'm home. And so I'm pretty sure it was just on TV one time. Uh, I think it's a girl as a main character. Oh, change it up. Progressive. Uh -oh. Progressive Home Alone. Make Why Cole is it progressive to put girls in the front? I don't understand. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Ask that a question again. Why is it progressive to put girls in the front? Because the patriarchy, Rachel. The patriarchy. Look, we give up. We let's let's explain Are you something. All we, yeah, let's, let's explain the patriarchy to you, Rachel. Listen. So there's a thing called a glass ceiling. In between movie shot. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, God. I have to Ew. burn. Rachel, stop. Ugh. I spilled it all over myself. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my, dude, it's not just rolling, it's rocking and rolling, okay? It's Chuck Berry. It's Howard the Duck. At the end of Howard the Duck. Different family? Yes, yeah, a different one, Rachel. Where's Joanna going? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pull it out. Hey guys, guess what? We made tater tot casserole. No. We made it! We made it! We made it! 
Talk louder than her so the mics will pick her up. It. We did it. it no. no. I feel like maybe Sierra made it. Trey, can you hear me a chip? Oh, it's not the girl. The girl's the fifth one. This is the dumbass kid. Don't. You may not sit by me and bite your fork. I'm so serious. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard you say. What's happening? I haven't heard a word. Look, Should I turn it up? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, the kid has erectile dysfunction. His mom's saying it's normal for boys his age. <laughs> That's not what's happening. And he said, I can't have fun because girls are going to laugh because my wiener's crooked like no. a banana. Stop. <laughs> Please let him go. I'll stay home alone. No. Oh, oh God. Look at his face. Don't do that with your face. Oh, God. <laughs> Anytime you ask me for a chip with queso, this is what's going to happen. Okay. Hold on. I'm so upset by how close you're putting your face Hold to on. this chip. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's my automatic reaction to that. Okay, hand me another chip. If I had a graph that's like the T, then each side was women that openly said they were interested in me on one side, and men that said they're openly inter interested in me on one side, the men's side would be much, uh, much fuller with data. <laughs> Walmart Marco Robbie. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves about commentary shows is when they make so many jokes that they don't actually know what's happening in the movie, but I don't actually know what's happening uh -huh. in this movie. You've fallen into one of the classic blunders. What? Can you hear me the queso? I don't speak Spanish. What, what do you want? <laughs> is this an alternate universe, Kevin McAllister? No, it's Kevin Kev Kevin McAllister down the street. I'm, I'm excited to see what a post-9-11 Home Alone looks yeah. like. It's her house. She wants to spoil me. Oh, this is Nat her Nat house. Natalie's house? The dad's the dad's, the dad's a a broke. The dad's uh, broke. <gasps> Jesse, I wasn't recording. Just kidding. Got you. Uh, Got you. Bazinga. Bazinga, Jesse. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, dude. Why didn't you say bazinga first? Sorry. That would have made me know it was a joke. The alarm is on. The alarm Whoa. is on. Oh. Mom, the alarm's on. It was the Harley Quinn voice. It's, I mean, yeah, this is after Batman the Animated Series, so Harley Quinn is a thing. Look at me, I make a funny face, I'm French Stewart. Why do, what do you have against him? <laughs> what, do you, what do you got against French Stewart? Dude, I hate French Stewart and I don't why? know why. I don't know why. What have you seen him in that you hated him? Okay, look. Is I'm, it because he looks like you and you're a little bit like, oh, that's, uh, exactly that's what I look like every day? Do that's, it for camera. That's all that I saw. That was a pretty good French Stewart impression. Thanks. Hey guys, I do impersonations. Here's my French Stewart. <laughs> that's pretty good. Bazinga! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Gets me every time. Marv said Harry's in prison. He said Harry's in prison. And this kid's name is Kevin McAllister. Bro, what's, what's the lore of I'm so confused on this one. For. Look at me go. I'm French Stewart. <laughs> Trey, download the lore. Despite his forgetful parents splitting up, Kevin McAllister finds himself left home alone once more while spending Christmas at the high-tech home of his dad's new girlfriend. But while the place is a gadget lover's dream, it turns out to be a burglar's nightmare as Kevin's old nemesis, Marv, played by French Stewart, huge piece of shit, it says it, I'm just reading, just in the synopsis, uh, is about to discover his new sidekick, Vera, played by knockoff Robo Burber Markey, I forgot her name, <laughs> Robo Markey, Margaret Robertson. Home Alone traditions are upheld in this suitably slapsticky sequel. What did Robert, Roger Ebert think of this one? If that were my kid, he would live at his mom's house. <laughs> <laughs> you know what makes me mad about rich people? Uh, they just whoa, have like hey, hey. We got to start a new segment called What Makes <laughs> Rachel Mad About Rich People. This is, uh, hey, only commentary that happens on this show is social commentary. Let's go, Rachel. Hit it. All the stupid, like, art crap they buy that doesn't match, but, like, each yeah. one is, like, a collectible, but together they just look, like, garbage. Where do you rich get your rich art? people have the most money and the least amount of taste. Yeah, make, we talk about that a lot. Yeah. I make my own art, Rachel. I'm a photographer. Like your wreath over there? I'm so proud of that wreath. <laughs> it looks so good. Did you and make that? Yes. He did. Damn, that looks good for you making it. Well, didn't they just have Christmas? Also, it still looks bad. Hey, guys. I'm so confused. Hey, guys. Chime in here. IMDb fact. Macaulay Culkin, the original Kevin, was less than impressed by this film. 
That's all Yo. it Less than impressed. Daniel Stern, the guy that originally played Marv in yeah. the first two movies. Oh. Whoa. He, he was approached to play Marv again. Yeah. And he said, quote, it was an insult and total garbage. <laughs> Um, there's about to be a cat fight. Look at their giant table. Rachel, did you say cat fight? Maybe. I find that a sexist term. Yeah, that's very sexist, Rachel. I can't believe you'd say that. You're implying cats that women in, are equal to yeah. cats. Cats come in both sexes. Yeah, you're you guys. implying that. No, you're cats implying that are women equal are equal to cats, cats when they fight, Rachel. And I find that horribly misogynistic. Have you seen two cats fight? Offensive. Yes, I have. Have seen you seen two, two women fight? Oh, you're assuming that oh all women God. fight equally? I don't feel like either of you are listening to the words that I'm saying. I cannot believe Rachel. Let that me Rachel explain would. something to you in a forceful manner. It looks like a cat fight's about to happen. I know, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Women fighting him, right? Just like cats slapping each other. They look just like it, too. I, I get confused. I'm like, is that a cat is or a woman? Those cats or those women, right? <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, another IMDb fact over here. Apparently, this movie was supposed to be a direct sequel to the Home Alone 3 movie. But instead, they decided to make shitty Kevin McAllister. What? And they said, hey, everybody from the original Home Alone cast, you want to do this? And they said, no, this is a piece of shit. Oh, Jeez. great. He's going to mysteriously wander off again, and then the goons are going to come back. No. Nope. Oh, he just let the goons in. Uh-oh. Still chewing gum. One down, two to go. Oh, you can see the whole camera crew. Ding. Look at her. She just cuddles on you. Look at her. She'll give you a kiss if you will. She was fearless and crazier her. than him. Give her a kiss. She was his queen. Rachel, and God help anyone who dare disrespect no, his queen. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so gross. Hey, Mom. He's like, oh, and my French parents Stewart got divorced. But you guys. We're here. My parents got divorced. Did you hear? He said, hey, no. Mom. He said, hey, Mom. She's in on it. I told you he was a handful. Oh, we got a parasite situation going on. This one actually seems to have an interesting plot in it that it twisted no. at least. No. Rachel, Rachel, no. Rachel, 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 Rachel. Try, 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 Bad. try, 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 try. Come in. Ah! Ah! There's a bug coming. Stop! Come in, look at the kills, Come in. Oh, God. Ah! Come in, look out for that bug. God, French Stewart. She was fearless and crazier than him. And she was his queen and God... For help anyone ah, who disrespected ah, his queen. Ah, 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 ah. These boxes clearly have nothing in them. Ding. Ding. Bazinga. Remember our safe word, Bazinga? You missed it. You're even paying attention. I can't hear it and not laugh. It's so Men, good. don't listen a to dumb waiter. women. Dumb waiter. It's, dumb waiter in every film. it's the only recurring theme. How low does the shot go? Can they see me? Down no, here? they can't see you at all. I'm laying with my dog. What are you doing down here? God help anyone who disrespected the queen. Oh my gosh. What? I'm giving my dog kisses. What's wrong? What's wrong? What happened, Rachel? Oh, was that, was that me? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you shit your pants? Wow. You That's way yourself? worse than I expected, yeah. Jesse shitted himself. Oh no. Oh no. Robo Margie. I'm going to say it. I hate this kid more than Howard the Duck. No, that's not possible. That's Trey. true. You're just drunk. Don't say that. I've grown to like Howard. Who is this other dipshit together, kid? She's the boss. No oh, I want to hit that kid so much. He's like young Sheldon. Oh, look, he can control the weather. I'm resting on Freya. She has a cute smile. Okay. Hey, guys. Welcome to Home Alone 5, Holiday Heist. You know what is different about this one? It's got a girl. No. Richard, Richard, no. Richard, Richard. This one has a female protagonist. Where's so the... our females go on the couch. Where's the remote? It's so loud. It's fine. You just got sensitive baby boy ears. Oh! Yo, I take it back. I hate this guy more than French Stewart. No? Uh, I take that back. Early judgment. Is that Snoop Dogg? Is that Snoop Dogg? <laughs> no, that's Snop Dogg. <laughs> Is it Snop Dogg? Hey guys. 
Today's sponsor is thepiratebay.org. I've seen that old man's wiener before. Because if you watch A Clockwork Orange, there's a sex scene, but it's just like a hyperlapse. Yeah. And his wiener just flops around for Can about two minutes. Can you please put a wiener count in this video for oh. Trey? <laughs> wiener count. Wiener count. Wiener One, count. Two. <laughs> she has sister. a pink device. It's a girl, obviously. She likes her phone. She listens to JoJo. Not JoJo Siwa, but the JoJo from like when I was in like a kid middle school before. Hey, guys, we're coming back to Rachel's therapy corner. <laughs> Uh, what's up? What's your question? You deflected all of my therapy questions last time. No, I just didn't know how to answer them because they were too vague. So I deflected. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Objection. Leading. Leading. <laughs> uh, sustained. I took Thank a shower you. this morning, Rachel. I don't. After care. I went to the gym and got yoked. Projecting. Objective. Sustained. Sustained. One hundred percent. I saw the the cover and I thought that boy was a girl. That's the main character. That's why you thought a girl was the main character? <laughs> yeah. All right, Rachel, time to switch. Whoa! Get on the floor. Hello, my name is Trey. I'm a part si part time misogynist. Does that not look like a, like a young girl? Okay, I asked that, and then you both yelled at me. Or, no, because you're probably being sexist. I don't know. But then know. you said it. Take off your headphones. Their earbuds. Ah, got her, boomer. <laughs> We're young, just like you. We're never gonna die. This is what the main character looks Dude, like. Dude, he's so hot now. Look at this guy. That's not a girl, am I right? That is definitely not a girl. Maybe he's hot maybe now. Maybe wow. Presidents and everything. I'm using Ronald Reagan. Whoa, they're commenting off on trickle down economics. I'm sinking. Bruh. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. I'm sinking. Oh Funny Jay, you might be out of frame now. Funny so hairdos fast. are a staple of the Home Alone movies. Yeah. Fine. Usually due to electricity Jay, or... you're out of frame. You don't know that. What? Is my dog under this? That's Rachel. That's your leg. I'm Rosie, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. We took her where she was. <laughs> Bro, this lady is from around four. Except how she got. Just simmer down. Plan B. She's still inside, you know. She said, she he didn't really pull really out. Really <laughs> plan B. Kevin, give me some plan B. Oh, God. Oh, oh, nice. That's no, awesome. I love it. How's it really like? Oh, I was sick. And I love her. Thank you for showing me. That's sick. We're at the climax. So there's no climax. Get over it. Stop. Yes. No, I'm not including it. I'm cutting it. I'm blurring okay. this. I am blurring it. You warned us you heard I'm something. Blurring it. And we should have believed you. Um. Anyway, that was the haiku. I'm trying to guess. The Home Alone right. extended cinematic Did multiverse. No. Nope. No. Let's play Halo. I'm done. Hey, haiku. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. We did this for you. Merry Christmas. The end. Bye. This isn't recording. You say it every time.